So we all just out here talking about some spiritual psychosis right now. Here's a hot take that I haven't seen. A lot of people are judgmental about it. A lot of people want to warn you and put fear into your heart about spiritual psychosis. But the way I see it, spiritual psychosis is kind of like a rite of passage. See, when I grew up, I grew up as a Southern Baptist. This condition is not exclusive to the witch talk community. It's very much a part of the evangelical Christian community, though. Calling the Holy Spirit into you, watching people speak in tongues and writhe on the floor and uh, act all fucking crazy for months on end because they believe that God has chosen them and all this shit. And everything that happens to you is because of the will of God. That's how I grew up. I grew up around the fire and brimstone kind of people. But here's the thing. All of the people that I know that I would consider like advanced spiritualists, advanced practitioners, I feel like at some point in your path, you do lose it a little bit. And you like people get confronted with crazy shit in their path. And how you handle that shit is what will make or break you as a practitioner. I know on my path, my spirits really said, are you about that life? I mean, I feel like anybody that works with the infertile gets their shit rocked a little bit. But anyone who's made it through to the other side can all agree it was worth it. Some people start on this path, they get their shit a little bit rocked. They'll have their shit a little rocked and like they'll retreat. And we see it all the time. We see these people are like, I was a witch and I turned away because it was demonic. When I see people like that, I see people who were benching it and then it got to a point where they were being called to play. They were called to play and then they get on the field and then they get the wind knocked out of them almost immediately. Like immediate injury. Yes, it's a sports metaphor, y'all. That's one thing I wish that people on Witch Talk and Spiritual TikTok would stop doing. Is stop being so judgmental about this condition. If you see someone that you feel is not grounded and they're experiencing what you call spiritual psychosis, a lot of people on this app want to talk about spiritual psychosis and judge the person going through it. But if you are truly a healer, truly a powerful person, at, at the very least, send them some grounding energy, the fuck? Like, send them a DM, like, hey, thinking of you, hope you're okay. Like, I know I've experienced some stuff that makes me question my mental state, and I know it's because of what I was dealing with, what I was working towards, and it was part of the lesson plan from whoever was teaching me. But I made it through! If you see someone who might be a bit ungrounding, perhaps be a grounding force to them, there's no such thing as coincidence in my opinion. If someone's coming to you or you're crossing paths with someone like that, you can be the difference between whether or not they make it through or they uh, retreat. That's all I gotta say about that.